Assalamualaikum and hello. My name is Muhammad Hasanuddin bin Musa. I am PhD candidate from National University of Malaysia, UKM, and currently doing research under supervision of Dr. Fatima Abdul Razak. Thank you for being here today. Today, I am going to present about the Directed Network of Sharia Compliance Talk in Bursa, Malaysia, or we simply call Bursa Malaysia as Bursa. Okay, let's move to the outline of this presentation. As we can see, the outline will start with introduction, objective, data and method, result and discussion, and the last will be conclusion. So let's begin with the introduction. Network theory is the study of a graph as a representation between discrete objects. A graph in this context is made up of the vertices or nodes which are connected by edges or links. For a better illustration, we can see the example of the simple graph shown here. Above is the image, the undirected network consisting nodes and edges, and the below one is image for a directed network. Network analysis is a popular tool to describe the characteristic and behavior of complex networks. Many researchers have been using complex network analysis to study complex networks in biology, social sciences, engineering, and finance. This study focusing on the importance of stock networks for 480 Sharia compliance stock traded in Bursa. So in this work, I am delivering the stock price data to build the directed network. Okay, let's move to the objective of this study. The first objective of this study is to build a directed stock network from Sharia compliance stock traded in Bursa. And the second one is to determine the most influential and important stock among the 480 Sharia compliance stock in Bursa, Malaysia. As we know, there are many studies that only focus on undirected network. So I will be using a nonlinear correlation measure in order to build a directed stock network. Okay, let's proceed to this next slide, data and method. As all of you can see, there are five stages in this flow chart. The first two stages will cover the process of handling the data, and then another three stages show the step of method and procedure. From the stock price data, we will transform the data into the log return of the data. From the value of log return, we calculate the probability and fit into the transfer entropy equation. After that, the value of transfer entropy will be stored in correlation metric. Then the last step is from the correlation metric. We will do some data management and filtration to indicate the direction of nodes in order to build the directed network. There are more than 1,000 company listed stock in Bursa, Malaysia. So in this study, only 480 Sharia compliance stock will be used in this work. And the data is ranging from 1st January 2016 until 4th January 2019. So it is equal to 776 trading days. As I mentioned before, the stock price data will be transformed into log return data before we can measure the transfer entropy of the, top, the stock. So, these are the equation of log return data. Now, I will show one example in this slide. As all of you can see, this is the data of the daily stock price. The column represents the date and the stock or companies and the row of this data set is representing the trading day. Here are the value of the current price and these are the value of the previous price. So using this equation of log return data, we calculate the log return and the loan of this fraction will give, will give us a log return value. So we continue the presentation with the methodology of this study. 
Here are the transfer entropy, which is a non-linear measure and non-parametric statistical tool. This transfer entropy is capable to measure the amount of directed transfer of information between two random processes. So, in this work, the two random process is the relation and direction between pairs of stock. As all of you can see in this equation, the transfer entropy is derived from the Shannon entropy. And Shannon entropy is one of the statistical tool to measure the uncertainty in random variable. So in this context, the Shannon entropy is not the same as the concept of entropy in thermodynamic problem. So I'm not going through too detail in on the derivation process. So this transfer entropy use a probability to measure the information and direction flow between the stock. Then we move to the pre-network construction. After we measure the value of transfer entropy, all the value of transfer entropy, which is the pair of stock, will be stored in correlation metric. A correlation metric is a table showing correlation between variable. Each cell in the table shows the correlation between two variables. A correlation metric is used to summarize the data as an input into a more advanced analysis. And this metric is asymmetric. So to determine the direction of node, we have to identify which value is bigger. The bigger value will stay and dominate the direction of information. So in this work, the value of the transfer entropy will represent the ages and the direction is based on the value of the transfer entropy. For example, we choose the cell of a Q to a bell. So we know the value is 0 0.037309. So the value of a bell to a Q is 0 0.0489691. So based on these two value, we easily can recognize the direction. The direction of information is from a bell to a Q since their value is bigger than a Q to a bell. From the correlation metric, we do some data management to identify the direction of information flow to build a directed network. Okay, here the important part of this presentation, which is the result and discussion. In figure one, we show the transfer entropy distribution for log written data set that has been used in this study. As we can see, the result in figure 1 resembles the shape of log normal distribution. Based on this shape, it is easy to see that the increment of the threshold value increase will make the number of edges in the stock network decreases. So the value of transfer entropy value is not like the common linear correlation which is person correlation coefficient. Transfer entropy value doesn't have a value interval so the interval is from zero to infinity. In both figure two and three, shows the directed stock network. We start from threshold 0 0.06. If we consider from the zero, the network will be too dense and very hard to analyze or extract the information. So the directed edges represent the transfer entropy value and the nodes represent the stock or company. After we keep filtering the threshold value, we will reduce the density of the network and we can clearly see the important nodes according to our definition which is the node that has many out degree centrality is the most influential node. So in this figure, the size of nodes represent 
the out degree centrality. So we can conclude that the largest node in the highest node with out degree centrality. So before I forgot, degree centrality is one of a centrality measure in social network analysis. It represents the number of nodes connected to a specific node. For a directed network, degree centrality usually defined to separate measure of degree centrality, namely in degree and out degree. Therefore, in our definition, out degree centrality measure is used to detect the nodes that have a large out degree value. In that sense, we presume the nodes which have a large de out degree value are the important for cost and effect. We try to look the effect of filtering the threshold on the important nodes. So, in this figure 4 and 5, we can see the stock network in a sparse version since the value of threshold were increased. And we can see the Borneo Oil Berhad BRNL node still the most important node since it has a large out degree centrality. In figure 5, the threshold value if is greater than 0 0.09 and only 17 stock were found to be connected in this stock network. In this figure, we can clearly see the BRNL stock became the most important stock and Omesti Berhad OMES OMES from technology sector also a stock with highest in degree centrality. The conclusion of this work, directed network can be built using nonlinear correlation measure. And from the analysis conducted, and according to our definition, Borneo Oil Berhad BRNL are the most important and influential stock in Malaysian market. Therefore, in future study, we suggest analyzing stock network using more centralities measure, such as closeness centrality between a centrality, eigenvector centrality, and clustering coefficient to extract more information in stock network in Malaysian market. That's all from me. Thank you.